this is Gary and Jane and I've not been set off all that long actually I've been very busy this morning downloading yesterday's film which was a long one so you live locally then Gary you? yeah about two miles three miles away yes. but we quite often come down and have a walk along the front here along yeah. the sea yeah see what we can spot birds yeah bees and wildlife and things like that yeah, yeah it's great lovely place I, I was speaking to a guy at length yesterday who seemed to know what he was talking about, about the beaches sort of moving north. Yeah, so from, I've from heard, the other side. But, I mean, I don't know that much about it, but I have heard that said before, yeah. Yeah. So it's, um, but it's lovely, yeah, really yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I wish you all the best on your Thank walk. You very much. Because you're getting there now, you're nearly there, aren't you? Well, I'm nearly there for England and Wales. I've still got yeah. Scotland to do yet. I'll, well, be going up right. to, I'll be going up to do John O'Groats before the end of the winter. That's OK, get so some haggis inside still, you, you'll yeah. be well away. Yeah, well, I like all that sort of stuff. OK. I, I also have Scotch eggs in my backpack. They're as good as anything to carry Sounds along good. with you. Yeah. Sounds you good feel to a me. Bit, feel a bit peckish, you know. They're, they're, they're like, good, yeah. yeah. You know, they're, they're full of fat and they're full of all the bad things, really, and egg and stuff. <laughs> yeah. But That's what you when need, it, when though, it comes the calories. Of, yeah, Keeps calories. You, you know, I, I've, I mean, I've lost about three stones since I started this. Yeah. Way, 11 That's, stone, good. That's what I could do with, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to walk further. Okay, so well, it's you like you're walking and you've got, yeah, you've got your dog over there. The dog. He's sooty. He, yeah. he looks sooty, is that his name? Sooty, yeah, the sooty. chimney sweeps dog. That's what I do. <laughs> chimney sweeps. <laughs> oh, really? He comes to work every day. He doesn't sweep the chimney, but he sits in the van and says, have you done well? And I'll go, oh, yeah. Nice, bit a nice cup of tea and a bit of company. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. And you. And nice you. to see you. Take care of yourself. Check me out. Okay. I will. Bye now. Bye.
it's half past four now and it's turned quite chilly now uh, the sun's nowhere to be seen actually it's well into the clouds now and uh, it's cooled off quite a lot started off rather well this morning and uh, and I was too busy to, to walk then and actually uploading took an awful lot longer than I thought it would do I didn't get uh, my breakfast until nearly nearly I think about one o'clock by the time I got tucked into my breakfast and I didn't start walking till about two so I've only done about two and a half hours now and so um, is it two and a half yes sorry two two hours and 40 minutes um, so now I'm going to be uh, heading into Galston then I'll take a look at the time have a look at the timetable of the buses because I'm not sure what time the last one is from Great Yarmouth so it's very important I do that otherwise I'm going to strand myself but I'm enjoying this it's nice it's nice to get out of the van I've had a long day an early start I, I must admit I'm tired and I'll be looking forward to a really nice long night's sleep tonight a couple of cans of my usual Stella and straight to bed and then I'll be in a nice state of mind for tomorrow and uh, I'll get another big day in because the uh, the weather forecast for Tuesday and Wednesday is crap <laughs>
it's quarter past six now and uh, I've got about another half an hour, maybe 50 minutes to get to the bus station in Great Yarmouth. I noticed by the, uh, the new coastal footpath markers that were in Norfolk, which is interesting. And uh, didn't, I don't know quite where we actually crossed into Norfolk, but uh, it's very interesting to know that it's a new county and that it didn't take me long to get through Suffolk. So I know that the, the bus due for lower stuff leaves at 6.57, or should I say 18.57, and I'm walking in to towards the bus stop, I'm walking north, so as soon as I get to a bus stop somewhere around about that time, knowing what time it sets off, I can, I don't have to walk right into the town, I can actually catch it on this road, coming in the opposite direction, so that makes sense. Done quite well really, so I've put in another good shift today, about four and a half hours or thereabouts, and uh, it's a probably a good time to do it actually as well on a Sunday, late Sunday afternoon. Not much traffic and pretty quiet and I know the weather's gone a little bit gloomy and you can feel in the air that it's going to change tomorrow and you can feel the rain coming on. But no, it's been good, you know, so I've had a long day, I was up early. Did quite a bit of driving this morning, a hell of a lot of editing and I'm miles behind now with uh, with catching up with people, there's been a whole new wave of activity. It's quite remarkable, really. And, uh, sorry, that's not my bus, that's a number eight. Hundreds of people writing to me now, saying I've subscribed to you, mate. Some really interesting, lovely people, as I said earlier, from all over the world, you know, fabulous, you know. One bloke, oh, I'm in Nova Scotia, I've spread the word, and I'm in Holland, I've spread the word, you know. Oh, everybody, my friend, Cha in Canada, you know, she's, she's worked hard at this, and I'm sure everybody has, and, and, and you know, I'm really, really delighted in my heart that there'll be a thousand subscriptions, and I'm looking forward to getting back there just to have a good read and I too enjoy it. I was I was on with Brian the other night and I said it was like counting the numbers going up. I said it was like watching the Eurovision Song Contest on acid <laughs> which I found quite amusing but I think I'm on the outskirts of the, the well, right on the edge of the centre of the, of the town now. There's a big dual carriageway opened up here and I can see some bigger and better buildings. It's all been a bit industrial, but then again, every place has got its own industry and that kind of thing. Tomorrow I'm going to, um, I'm going to sleep where I'm sleeping tonight, actually, right outside that pub. I'm going to have a pint when I get back, because the breakfast was absolutely fabulous. I've got to buy, I've got to buy some beer. I've got to find a shop. There'll be one around. I'll be walking into the centre, I can see a, I can see a, a filling station from here. BP, they sell Stella. And uh, I can afford to go to bed a little bit later tonight and have a lay in, because all I need to do tomorrow is just get a bus or walk into the, into the centre of Lowestoft and go to the place where I finished yesterday at um, just just to the south of the town centre where they had the stage and then all I've got to do is walk back and that'll link up all the pieces there'll be no bits missing and then I'll just wait to see what the situation is about if anybody's going to be coming through as an example Ralph or or maybe Peter will be back from Scarborough, I know, at the weekend, and then I've spoken to Ray, but I know that his wife is, is, sorry, his daughter is expecting a baby any day, 
So he's hanging on for that, I think. And then I can make a decision about what I'm going to do from here. Because I've maybe got one more day where I could actually walk, and that would be from Great Yarmouth up to Winterton-on-Sea, which is probably about eight miles. And after that, the bus service runs out, as far as I know, but I'm going to have a good read upon that one and check it out. But I could always drive north to Cromer, where I know there is a good bus service, and try and do the Cromer to Hunstanton stretch until somebody comes through. And uh, I think that's my best option, but I'll consider that later. So, I'm bringing this to an end now because you're just going to see me walking into the centre, jumping on a bus, and that's it. And thank you for viewing. Welcome to all you new people, hundreds of you, and I hope you continue to watch the vlog. I noticed today, I was talking about records. Yesterday, the record was 318 views in 24 hours. Well, today, it was 550 views in something like about 17. So that's going to go right through the roof. So it looks as if a bit of the breakthrough that I've been waiting for. This is a mini breakthrough, but it's wonderful to think that I'm nearly there with a thousand uh, subscribers and I can stop worrying about it, which I have been. So thank you very much anyway, everybody. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now. I've nearly made it now into Great Yarmouth. I've walked up from Lowestoft this afternoon. And I was just passing this pub. I've, I've actually got to get a bus back to Lowestoft and it's due in a few minutes, so I haven't got time to have a pint. But I've just said hello to these people and your name, sorry, is? Ricky. Ricky. Lauren. And you got married yesterday. Yes, yes we did, yeah. That's right, well, congratulations. Thank oh, you very look much. at that. <laughs> Thank that's, you very much. That's very nice. And this gentleman, you, was you the best man? Uh, I wasn't, no. I'm never the best man, trust me. <laughs> really? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, well, I'll. But I'm always there. There you okay. go. I'm always in the background. Well, I, I hope you have a very long and happy married life together. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Okay, that's, that's brilliant. Lovely. Thank you. So, are you going on honeymoon then? Well, we will do, but not yet. Yeah, not yet. Yeah, you're just hanging on a bit. Yeah, well, that's, that's very nice. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank and you. And as I say, it will be on YouTube tomorrow. Oh, lovely. Yeah, every day I do a vlog, every day of this walk, and there's 256 of them that I've been doing an average of about 15 miles a day. And uh, I'm only now about 20 days from Grimsby, which is where I started last April. That's April 2018. So how many um, days left have you got, roughly? 20. To, that 20 is to, days. That is to yeah. get to Grimsby, and then I'll be staying at home for about three days and then I'll be off up to Berwick on Tweed to walk up to uh, John O'Groves before the winter set in. Yeah, I'm doing it for charity. I'm doing it for the brain cancer research. My wow. wife had a tumour removed not long ago. She's still not well, but she's getting there. Yeah. And it's all on the it's all on the vlog when you have a look if yeah, you want yeah. if you want to yeah, donate. I'll, I'll yeah, be very, do, yeah. I don't ask people, I'll just give you a card and, yeah. and it's up to you. And people are starting to do that now. The only problem is I'm having a bit of a problem with the cancer research people in getting it together, them and us, with the proper link and everything. They've given yeah. me one of these QR codes, but not everybody understands them. No. You know, a lot of people don't even understand how to use an iPhone, do they? You know. No. Anyway, the best of luck to you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, take care. Cheers. Enjoy Thank you.
Well, it's bang on eight o'clock and I'm back at the van. I'd just like to close by saying to you all, thank you for a really good effort on my behalf. I really appreciate it. You're all a bunch of wonderful people. I really appreciate your friendship and your kindness. And I'm really sorry that probably for the next few days I'm going to be completely inundated with people to say thank you to. So please be patient. I will get around to you, but it might take me about a week. But I'm so happy. I've just been and bought myself a nice four pack of Stella. I'm going to have my own little party tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.